Okay, so you should have watched the brain pop video and answered the questions, but I'm gonna go over them just to make sure that you have everything understood. So for the photosynthesis brain pop video, what do plants need in order to do photosynthesis? Um, you should have said all of the above. They need sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. Now, which of the following are products of photosynthesis, meaning what does photosynthesis make? Um, you should have said, I mean, sorry, which of the following are products of photosynthesis? Check two answers. Um, you should say glucose and oxygen. Sunlight and new plants are not products of photosynthesis. You should have said glucose and oxygen. Let me fix the way this is sharing. Sorry, just a couple technical things here. All right, this is how I wanted it. Okay, so when we're doing this, um, I'm going to go through the notes again. So those answers, if you didn't get them before, not a huge deal because when we read the notes, they're going to become a lot more clear to you. So just like yesterday, these notes are pretty heavy, but again, this is so, so important. So as long as you get a little bit out of this, you'll be more set for high school. So read along with me, photosynthesis notes. Photosynthesis is a process that only plants are able to perform. Photosynthesis is how plants make energy in the form of glucose. Plants also do cellular respiration because they also need ATP, but no organisms could do cellular respiration if photosynthesis did not happen. Cellular respiration requires glucose and glucose is made during photosynthesis. So plants are incredibly important because they are the only organisms that can make energy from sunlight. So without plants, we would not have glucose and without glucose, we would not make ATP and we would die. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast of plant cells. The chloroplast makes chlorophyll, which is necessary for absorbing sunlight and gives plants its green color by reflecting green light waves. All right, so which organisms do photosynthesis? A, plants, B, animals, C, bacteria, or D, all of the above? You should have said A, plants. Only plants do photosynthesis. All right, based on the notes, why are plants so important? Type your answer out. Plants are important because Write a sentence, write a couple sentences, but you should be typing. Plants are important because dot, dot, dot. Look back up at the notes if you need help coming up with an answer. Keep typing, complete sentences. Please don't just say, I don't know, because that's ridiculous. Okay, if you need more time, pause me and hit play when you're done. Otherwise, if you're ready to move on, I'm going to keep reading. All right. This is a little similar to yesterday. Every chemical reaction, such as photosynthesis, has reactants and products. Reactants are what are used to make new products in the reaction. Products are what get made as a result of the reaction. Chemical reactions can be written in equations like the one below. This is the chemical equation for photosynthesis. In a chemical reaction, the reactants come before the arrow because they are in the beginning. And then the products come after the arrow because they are the result of the reaction. Let's say hi to my puppy here. Buddy, there he is. Okay, so, sorry for that. Based on the notes in the chemical equation, what are the reactants of photosynthesis? So look up at the equation and figure out your answer. So is it sunlight, carbon dioxide, water, or all of the above? All right, you should have said all of the above. All three of those things, sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water are reactants. Moving on. Based on the notes in the chemical equation, what are the products of photosynthesis? Select two answers. So what are the two products or the two things that are produced during photosynthesis? Select them as I read them if you think it's the answer. Glucose, water, oxygen, sunlight. All right, you should have checked glucose and oxygen because those are the two things that are um, made during photosynthesis, and they're the two things that come after the arrow in the equation. We're going to keep going. The three reactants of photosynthesis are sunlight or solar energy, carbon dioxide, and water. Important note, sunlight is not technically a reactant because it is not a chemical, but the process could not happen without it. In high school, you'll be more specific about how sunlight acts as a catalyst, but for now, we'll call it a reactant. The two products of photosynthesis are glucose and oxygen. The products of photosynthesis, glucose and oxygen, are the reactants of cellular respiration. And the waste products of cellular respiration, carbon dioxide and water, are the reactants of photosynthesis. So the two processes are a cycle, and this image shows that here. 
So you have one question that says, how are cellular respiration and photosynthesis connected? So use the image and the notes to help you. Oh, okay. He is fully sitting in a human chair. Buddy, buddy. Well, okay. Anyways, answer the question and then do your, okay. And then do your exit ticket. Um, we cannot wait to read them. And I, to make sure you do any work from this week that you've missed. And also super important, please make sure that you also, yeah, he's literally sitting in a human chair. Please make sure that you not only do any work that you miss, but you make sure you do tomorrow's lesson because it's really important for promotion. Otherwise, as long as you're, you're on track right now, finish up this lesson and enjoy the rest of the day. Miss you all.